What's up guys, Left and Right Sticker again with another Little Big Planet team pick review. This week's Little Big Planet team picks are all like sort of game homages. Uh, I think, you know, they're all quite old it seems. You know, the first one we're going to check out is Shadow of the Colossus by Bad Head Inc. Sort of the PlayStation experience levels. It's actually quite interesting, it's quite nice. You know, obviously Shadow of the Colossus got uh, remastered recently. So, you know, maybe, maybe this is sort of like a collaboration to help advertise that. But... It's quite interesting the way that they've actually able to, you know, make the Colossus. And also, there's, I like, I kind of like the health bar element of this, but I feel like I don't like it following, um, you know, Sackboy around. And, you know, the, the whole um, atmosphere of this is, is quite vast, I guess, but that's just the way um, Shadow of the Colossus is meant to be. But I feel like there's too little detail going around, around in the level. But, um, it's also the 3Dness is a bit too smooth. Uh, maybe it's not too smooth for for the time. You know, the beginning the beginning of LBB3, it was actually very very smooth and that's quite nice. But um, it just doesn't feel quite. It just feels too smooth going in and out of layers. That that sort of thing. I keep you know going too far in, too far out, and it makes falling off um, you know off the side quite easy. Quite easy. But then you know you've got the powers to defeat the classes. It's great that we have you know one classes fight. It'd be nice if there was more colossi to fight but um you know it's just the layers that really really bug me but obviously this is quite an old level this was like when lbp3 first came out sort of thing and this is actually very impressive and it does it did deserve a team pick then but it never did until now so, and then sort of there's a bit of confusion about what you're actually meant to do at the end what is actually climbable and what isn't but aside from that this is actually a very great level and i would like to see more colossi fights especially with the new remaster now maybe some people will be there you know get the inspiration for it next we have a ratchet and clank uh Kowain metropolis level by genie 400. this was quite a disappointing pick to be honest um just because it doesn't really work that well and you know on the channel we've shown a much 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 better <laughs> ratchet and clank I love one, you know, not not to you know discourage Genie 400, but um, the other uh, Ratchet and Clank level of Koei Metropolis is just so much more refined compared to this. I mean, like this bit, I can't even use my um, uh, spanner to do anything, and it's just there's no layer control. I, I keep falling off, keep going. If I just keep going too far, far forward, I'll just fall off. It doesn't make sense. Why? Why? And then there's no animation sort of thing. We just have this one spanner double jumping and then you just collect a bunch of little you know, the screws and whatnot, screws and bolts which is nice that they all come to you and there's, there's actually something to do in the level besides just looking at the scenery but it's overly basic compared to what, what else you know the other stuff that we've seen that's based on Ratchet and Clank so comparative wise it's not quite as it's not as good otherwise but on its own standalone on its own even then I'm still a bit um, on the fence there, just because, it, you know, like you can see there, there's like just gaps between blocks of, of the ground. There's a lot of non-polish. I don't know if that's that's the word to use. There isn't enough polish in this level, so it's a bit disappointing. You got team pick, but you know, well, let me know what you think. I mean, I do like that people are trying to make ratchet and clank levels. There's quite a few people going around trying to make ratchet and clank levels, and it's nice that some people made some nice stuff. This is probably not one of the better ones, unfortunately. Then lastly, we have the best pick of this week, Bloodborne The Level by LS94. It's got a great, um, you know, uh, menu screen. We can choose between two characters, you know, the hunter and I think it's like the crow. Uh, I think it's called Eileen, I can't remember the name, but, um, you know, the crow. And it's, you know, see, the health is actually hidden on the top left, so it's not too in your face. But it's kind of weird that we see the shadow of it, but I guess that's something that we can't really help, maybe. Um, but the whole level is decorated very beautifully. Everything, you know, sets the atmosphere of Bloodborne as if it would be an LBP. Um, so the battle is a bit um, not so great sometimes, because sometimes it feels like I'm, I'm hitting them, but it doesn't seem like it's registering. And you know the dodging, shooting, shooting seems a bit be a bit off. Maybe it's because the layer issue, um, but you know it's, it's slightly 3D. It does seem 3D, but it's not as smooth as some of the other levels in um, 3Dness. So it's great the music, the sort of the de decoration of the level, the gameplay is very fun, 
And I think this is actually a very, very well deserving pick just because of everything involved. Although I kind of wished, you know, maybe the combat was improved a bit better. I mean, you can see some of this seem meant to be hitting, but nothing's happening. So that's a bit real. That's a bit strange bit. This actually split into two two parts. as a part one, part two. Part one is, you know, actually uh, the team picked one, but level links to part two, which is good. And um, there's actually even a boss fight, and I like there's varying different enemies as well, which is good. Although um, it would be nice if there was like an indicator for how many bullets you have, because I think they run out and you have to collect more, collect them. And it's not quite apparent, I think. Uh, how many bullets I have left, uh, unless it's on the health bar, which is which kind of moves around with you a bit um, sometimes, so it's not that accurate. But I hope you enjoyed these team picks. Let me know in the comments below what you liked about them or if you didn't like them. And click that like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to Let's Rise for more little bit of content and dreams content.